Hello everyone, this is Talk Time with Cynthia. I'm going to be kind of a little quiet because if I get wrapped up, then my bird is going to try to have a conversation, a, a word in the conversation, which is not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just get um, all my points out to you guys and um, talk to you on some things, kind of like some of the stuff that I talked to you about on yesterday, um, which is um, trying to be more and do more. You know, to increase your 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 life, to make your life um, more, um, and about being happy and not letting things bother you and getting under your skin and stuff like that. Um, I just I just want to just just get a little bit deeper into that situation, you know. And today it's gonna be mostly like on your health and exercising and doing different things to in increase your body. And, and your health so that you can do more, be more. Because if you sick, it's impossible for you to, you know, try to be more and do more. So that's what we're going to talk on today. Okay. So, okay. Um, so find some peace in God. You know, when things be kind of getting on your nerve and stuff, find peace in God. And if you're not a believer, it's, it's a lot of other things that you can find peace in. But I find... That peace in God to be able to, you know, to pray and um to to um um meditate on it and 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 allow Him to help me to work it out. Well, what are you, you? Some people call it God. Some people call it um a, a higher power. Some people call it have different names for you know that that deity that they they touch outside or inside of themselves, whichever and however you want to call it. I don't judge. I just just have something outside or inside yourself that you can uh reach to to increase who you are other than the flesh and bones uh, in of your body because it's very helpful. So but um I like when I meditate I like to meditate um um Eric, uh, is it Cho? No, Eric Ho. Um, he's a good one to listen at when it comes to um meditation. He's got his own YouTube channel. So, but um, I find that it meditating it and just silencing my mind and just just getting into a better place it helps me a lot. So maybe that'll that'll help you. Uh, comment down below and let me know if that if that's something that you do and if you have somebody that you listen to or. Or some meditation or music that you listen to, share it with me. I would love to hear about it. Um, and then um, you know, you get into your routine, you know, and um, a routine that of uh, uh, better your life and, and and of good health and and um, working on your person. You know, get into a routine where you get up in the morning and um. Like for me, I get up in the morning, I make my juice, and it's a smoothie, but I call it a juice. You know, I use blueberries, strawberries, I do uh, spinach, or you could replace that with collard green kale, or, or or something like that, or some people do broccoli, but I just like the uh, spinach, the collard green kale, but mostly I do spinach, and then like I said, I do blueberry, I do strawberry, I do spinach. Um, I do, uh, chia seed, flax seeds, um, and then I do water. Oh, and I put an apple in there too. And then I just do water. Something like if, if it's a little bit sketchy for you, then you can use, you can cut the water with half water, half juice. But, um, and then I, and then I use a, a ninja, um, juicer and you got, you got the, um, neutral bullet. Um, some people use neutral bullet. I used to use it, but I find Ninja works, uh, better for me. Um, and it, it gets it, you know, it really grinds it like it's supposed to. And the machine lasts longer. So that's, that's a help too. Um, but yeah, you, you juice, you get up, you juice. And, and, you know, I grab my juice. And then once I grab my juice, I make my juice. Then I go get in the shower, get me a, a nice hot shower. Um, 
And then after that, I go and I go work out. I work out and at least 30 minutes uh, to an hour. But these days I've been doing 30 minutes because, you know, having um, some issues. I, I just try not to overdo myself. And I just work out for that um, 30 minutes. And then sometimes a little over it all depends, you know, how I'm feeling for that day. But at least get some in. And I usually try to do it um, five times a day. And then maybe um, once on the weekend. But um, no less than three times a not yeah, no less than three times a week, not five times a day, but five times a, a a week. But no less than three times a um a week. And uh, but yeah, so I do that, and then once I do that, then I go to the library. I try to put something in my brain that's gonna help me to fulfill my purpose in life. Whether it be just like um reading a book of uh, positive or or self-help books something that's going to increase you increase your person um which is really helpful too and um i like to do that and then after that um going to the library because like um i'm a um actually i'm a notary public so i try to um freshen up on the things so once i get out there or whatever i know what i'm doing i'm not making mistakes i'm making sure that i'm keeping up with all the changes that might be um happening um in the business. But yeah, just increase yourself. Just just find something that that increases your brain, uh, increases your knowledge, your your awareness about things that's going on around you. That's good that you do that. And then um and then wake up early. Don't don't lay in the bed 10, 11 o'clock. Wake up early. To me, I say no later than 7 o'clock. You might be able to squeeze 8 in there, but wake up early. Get your day started early. It feels better when you get up early and start your day early. And you know, like they used to say, the early bird get the worm. That's a true statement because while you laying around and sleeping and, 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 and trying to get another wink in, somebody done already got, um, you know, what's, what's out there to offer. I mean, because... Depending on what you're doing, jobs are few. It's jobs out there, but people tend to try to get the same types of job. And that's another subject for another day. But yeah, you get up early and um, and and you get out there and, you know, you, you, you make, make your life better, you know. And getting up early helps that. And then it says, um, let's see, I, I talked on the juicing and stuff and consistent to your body. Like when you juicing, um, like it's, it'll be different for men and women. It's like, um, we, at a certain age, we start to lose calcium and stuff like that. So us as women, we have to do things to, um, to make sure we, uh, keep calcium and, and figure out how much estrogen that's supposed to be in your body at whatever age it is that you're in and, um, and stuff like that. But I say, listen to your body, your body will tell you what you need. A lot of times, um, people don't pay attention to their body. I want to get over here, over here so I can and grab my vitamins so I can let you see what kind of vitamins I'm taking. Excuse me for a minute. These are all my little vitamins that the doctor uh, told me to take. And then some I take on my own. Um, so, I got, um, because of, of the things that I was going through. So, I had to start taking these little vitamins. I was taking vitamins in, like a multivitamin. But, okay, so let me show you my multivitamin first. Okay, this is right there. Okay, 50 plus, because I'm actually I'm 51 years old, y'all. I got and told my age. But right here, um, one a day vitamin, 50 plus. And it says, um, healthy advance, complete multi with key nat nat nutrients and support. Um, heart health, eye health, uh, bone health, healthy brain function energy and metabolism um and, and immune health so all those things as you get 
as you get older, you need all of that stuff because you start to lose, you know, you start to use, lose brain function because you get older. So if you young, then I mean, you don't want to take 50 plus if you're young, you know, you don't want to take 50 plus. Um, and it says addresses six key concerns of aging. So you want to make sure when you're taking vitamins, you that you're taking vitamins that um, is for you. I mean, you don't want to go get no little teenage vitamins because you ain't going to get everything. You're not going to get everything you need in there. Then, um, you know, I started taking uh, CoQ10. Okay, all right, and let me let you see that. See that? Okay, so that's CoQ10, and it's um, Quinal. I think that's the name brand of it, Quinal. And it says Mega uh, CoQ10. Mega uh, ubiquinol trying to say these some words yeah I don't know how they go um, ubiquinol and it says the um, active form of CoQ10 uh, patent water and fat soluble uh, superior absorption so it absorbs very easy and uh and it's it's number one cardiologist recommended for form of CoQ ten. Let's say dietary uh supplement um a hundred milligrams and and it's got sixty tablets and I paid like twenty dollars for that, a little over twenty dollars. So that's what that's that right there. I don't know if you see it with my camera doing the way it's doing. But yeah, and that's that's for my CoQ10, and that's for my heart, you know. So you big one on, and that's for my heart, and it's a, it's a hundred milligrams in my um my uh one a day vitamin, which is my multivitamins. Those are what is the milligram on them? Okay, now don't make me look crazy. So I guess if they don't come in milligrams, but yeah, so, um, and then I got my, my vitamin D right here. And I tell you why the doctor got me taking vitamin D. So, um, and it's got me vitamin D3 and it's by, um, Spring Valley. Okay. Spring Valley. And it's, um, a <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm trying to uh, figure this out. Hold on. Okay, so that I just had a, a phone call, and I do apologize, but um, it this this is uh a, a thousand units, and the doctor wanted me to take four hundred units, but I couldn't find it, so I say, I, more is better than 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 less. So I I just got that which is a thousand units right there and it's vitamin vitamin d3 he told me take vitamin d but it's vitamin d3 and I, i'm i'm guessing that's good enough and it's uh it says bone and immune health okay vitamin d is essential for proper calcium absorption and support bone and immune health so that's what the doctor got me taking that and the reason he got me taking vitamin b is because uh, your body don't absorb calcium unless you're taking vitamin D. And if you see, it says vitamin D right on there. You see right there? It says vitamin D right there. So it's got it in there. And plus, I'm taking some to make sure I get everything I need. And then later on, I'll explain to you why I'm having to take the vitamin D and the calcium. Because, uh, you know, for all the stuff I've been through, the doctor want me to take that. So, and, um, the calcium, and it's six, uh, milligrams, and I take two of those, because he wanted me to take, um, a thousand milligram of, of calcium, so, I have to, have to take two to get my thousand, because it's only 600 milligrams, and that's for your bone health, too, of course, um, but, yeah, so the doctor got me taking all those vitamins, and, um, and then I take the CoQ10, I take the CoQ10, uh, on my own, just for my heart health, 
just making sure um I'm, I'm getting everything I need and then also um you're doing your juicing and then you're taking your vitamin and like I said you got to take your vitamin for your age uh limit because so you get everything you need otherwise if you take something let's say for somebody 20 years old you're not going to get everything you need because a 20 year old ain't losing um bone they're not um their brain is working good because they they ain't got no brains and they're not losing brain cells at the rate that we lose it because we don't have estrogen and stuff and you know you got to make sure you taking something to um help with your estrogen and stuff like that so because your estrogen does a lot for your body and i'll talk on that some other time too it does a lot for your body a lot for your body as a woman, just like the for the man, the testosterone do a lot for his body. Um, so when you start to lose that, it affects you in a way. You start getting hot flashes. You start getting mood swings. You be about to want to kill somebody. But that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, and then also, uh, pay attention to your body. Like I said, your body tells you. It will tell you. What's going on with it? You know, your body will let you know what's going on. And um, if you pay attention to it and give it what it needs. And like, if you're not understanding your body, you just, whatever's happening to your body, like I'm getting hot, I'm, I'm getting hot all the time. Google that and it'll, go. I mean, there is nothing that you need to know, know that you shouldn't, that you have to be unknowledgeable about uh, unknowledgeable about because google has everything any question that you have google can answer that for you so don't uh walk around not knowing what you need to know because google has everything you need to know i ain't saying that google is true for a thousand percent but i'm just saying if you keep researching and researching and and go deeper and deeper and deeper to the rabbit hole and then you find that you got a whole bunch of people saying a lot of things then and then you go look into universities and and studies and things like that then you'll find out you'll find the answer to the question that you're trying to um uh, find i'm not saying the first google that you the first search that you find uh it's like the one but i'm just saying okay you find that so let's go look over to another area and see if they seeing the same thing you know what i mean that way you're you're testing it against each other so you know okay so uh 50 people can't be wrong you know what i mean so but yeah and then you do it that way and then also exercising exercising is really good for your body and and make sure you do that and just make sure you just meditate 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 uh it gives you such a peace um you just um breathing taking breath and, and you just letting things go that you have taken on through the week through the day and you just allowing your body to just um release a whole lot of bad negative energy and and um that way it doesn't affect you for as um making you sick because like I said, a, a bad energy makes you sick. It makes you really sick. And um, it kills off your cells. Then you begin to find that you have different types of um, diseases like, you know, cancer, heart disease, um, um, migraines, uh, and a whole lot of other stuff that you can put under stress that will um, affect your body. So, but anyway, I think I've said everything I'm going to say today, and I enjoyed y'all, talking to y'all, and just trying to help put y'all on track, and, and let's just be better and do better in 2020, 2020. Let's do better and be better in 2020, and work on our body, let's stay juicing, uh, let's stay praying, let's stay positive. Let's um just continue to to um uh keep moving forward so that in 2020 we come out on top and when 2021 get here we'll be where we need to be and become our most productive self. 
So thank you guys for listening to me, for watching my channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment down below and tell me um, how you wake up in the morning and the things that you do to get your day started and the direction that you're going to be taking to um, to be better then you to be better in 2020 than you was in 2019 and uh get your 2021 bumping and started okay i love you guys so much and thank you bye bye